Imagine that a partly decomposed body is found lying in the woods. Was the person murdered? And how long have they been dead? To find out, investigators come here, a place known as the Body Farm. This two-acre compound at the University of Tennessee is devoted to studying what happens to the body after death. The scene isn't for the squeamish. On any given day, the ground is strewn with some 50 corpses. For the scientists who work here, it's an open-air laboratory of decay. What is unique about the facility is that we can look at this process of decomposition day one, day two, day 18, and day 37, and day 156. Dr. Murray Marks is a forensic anthropologist. Once decomposition sets in, a normal autopsy cannot be done, uh, and so the pathologist turns to the anthropologist to, to come up with some information. To provide that information, Dr. Marx is compiling an unusual and for some stomach-turning reference work, an atlas for law enforcement that will display bodies in every state of decay. What happens is you pull out the atlas and you compare your body that's decomposed to this. It's a standard. It will provide, I think, a gold standard for the process of decomposition. The work at the body farm is important to solving crimes, but it's also gruesome. This corpse has been outside for two weeks, and it's giving off a powerful stench. It's not like garbage. It's not even like a dead animal. It's not like a mouse that's behind your wall that dies. I mean, it's a, it's a pungent, sweet smell. You never forget it. The researchers focus on details that would revolt most people, such as blackened skin, an important clue in establishing time of death. The darker the flesh, the longer the body's been dead. You can see the head is darker, that arm is a little bit darker, so I'm trying to show all the variation throughout the body. Few people want to think about what flies and maggots do to a body, much less study it. But Dr. Marks knows these scavengers are as regular as clockwork. The first flies will arrive within half an hour of death and invade the body. What they look for are the orifices, uh, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the ground body interface where it's going to be shaded. Inside the body, the flies lay eggs. And 24 hours later, the eggs produce these slithering, flesh-eating insects, maggots. They're an important clue for Dr. Marx. When the maggots reach 15 millimeters in length, they've been fed for about one week. The better I am sitting over on that hill watching these processes, the better the crime scene investigator is going to be and the more evidence they'll have to give as far as finding suspects. And I'm fortunate to be able to be a part of that. It's not nasty and it's not you know, gross or awful to do. I mean, it, it, it's a job that has to be done.